how else could we do this? Well, we could do it like this. We could do and, and then we could use dot notation. So, so to use dot notation, we would have to dereference the pointer and then refer to the hours. So like that. And we do the same thing with this one. We dereference the pointer and refer to the minutes. And so, um, and then take the address of that whole thing. And uh, so we can compile this. And we see that compiles fine. And then we can execute this. And then we can put in some numbers, 11, 55. Boom, time is 11.55. So, um, so now let's, uh, let's go to your email. OK, so here's your email. So this crashed. So can you guess why this crashed? I'm assuming that like when you typed it in the email, this is a typo here. This is a underscore. Um, but uh, so you're using the arrow notation. So scanf requires um, an address. And so you're giving it um, just the uh, just the value. And so um, so you'd have to uh, make this an address by putting the ampersand. And so here you did, right? So you put the ampersand. And then this one on the bottom where you got a warning, I'm not really sure how this is different from what you have have up here. Uh, and a pointer points num one and a points num one. So um, pass the structure by reference containing pointers to the two integers. Ah, okay. So um, so right so this is a pointer so if this is a if if you've if you've declared this as a pointer you would have to do it um here it would have to be an int pointer right so hold on let me pause this and take a look at this part Okay, John, I'm assuming that you did something like this. You uh, had a structure and um, you defined two int pointers in here. And then, um, and then you define your structure variable. And of course you had to change, um, change your printf to print things out because uh, now you have uh, pointers for hours and minutes. Whoops. Yep, pointers for hours and minutes, so you have to dereference them. Okay. So, all right. So, again, the way we did before, we come in here and we do this. Now, here's the problem. So, um, I'll compile this. So, compile. And it compiles just fine. And then I execute it, and um, and it wants to execute. So it asks me for characters. So I put in my 11.55, enter, and boom, segmentation fault core dumped. So, so there's your clue right there. Your clue is that um, 
you declared these things as pointers, but in fact, um, they're null pointers. They're initialized to zero until you like initialize them to something, right? So, um, so let's, it means like, yeah, you can assign something to a null pointer, um, ends up giving you a segmentation fault. So, um, so you need to allocate the memory to generate the pointers. So, so hours is a pointer to an int and, um, and it's one int and minutes is a pointer to an int and it's one int. So, um, now, so now from, uh, we can do our scan F and, um, now there, these are actual pointers to things. So, um, so, so, uh, they've been initialized and so we can compile like we did before and boom. So we compile fine and then uh, now we execute. So I execute this, I go down here, it's asking for numbers. So I put in my 11.55 and phew, the time is 11.55. Okay, so, um, so now if we went back to, if we went back to your message, so where did I put that? I don't know. Maybe I close. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. So we go back to your message. So um, you have and a pointer. So should that work? Let's see. So see, the problem is that uh, hours, the way you're dereferencing it, um, hours is already a pointer. So my prediction is that that ampersand there is uh, going to screw things up. But let's see, because you're using a pointer notation. Okay, arrow notation. So here we go. So take this, compile this. Boom, it compiles great. Okay, go to execute it. Main asks for my values. Oops. Come down here. Yes. Ah, you can't see that. There you go. So now it asks for my values. 11, 55, enter. And it says, yeah, core dumped. Right. So, your hours, hours and minutes are already pointers. So, as I predicted, we got the segmentation fault, and now we'll compile and execute again. This time, 11, 55, and boom, time is 11.55. Okay, so, um, so that's the whole deal. So in terms of your email, um, if num1 and num2 are pointers, you don't want to have the ampersand here because um, because you're using pointer notation that automatically dereferences um, a. So yeah, this sort of just doesn't make sense. Okay, and the and the uh, and the problem is that if these are pointers to two integers, you've got to allocate the memory to them or else you don't have pointers. Okay. Hope this helped you out.